Hey, this is Mike for Licked, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an audio spectrum in Adobe After Effects. Okay, once we've got Adobe After Effects loaded, we'll go into New Composition. We'll give it a name. We can call it Audio Spectrum. Why not? And click OK. Then you need to drag in the audio file or video file you'd like to generate the spectrum to. In this case, I'm going to drag in my video file, drag and drop like that and let it load. Let's go to a section here where I start to speak and let's see. Yep, here I am. I'm just about to speak. Now at this stage, we'll generate the layer uh, that is going to contain our very own audio spectrum. So we're going to layer new and we want to create a solid. Again, we can call this audio spectrum layer and click OK. It's gone blank, but don't worry. Next, you go into effect, you go to generate and then look for audio spectrum. There it is. Click it and back to the video file again. Now, the first thing you need to do on the audio spectrum layer is make sure under audio layer here, you have selected your audio file or your video file that you'd like to generate the audio spectrum for. So in this case, it's number two, it's my MP4 file, my video file, and that should generate now a spectrum, but it's going to be tiny on the default settings. Hey, this is Mike, Mike for Licked, and it and as you can hear, it's repeating and slowing down so that the CPU can keep up with the effect generation. You can just see a tiny spectrum, but we want to make it a little more visible than that. So let's go over to thickness and we'll make this really fat. That's nice and fat. Oh yeah, thickness of about 35. That looks good. I'm not quite digging the pink though, so I'm going to change the inside color. That's going to be a kind of, let's go for a nice golden. Yeah, nice golden color on the inside and then the outside. Let's make that a a deep, dark orange. How about that? That's nice. Liking that. Click OK. Uh, still, you'll see the spectrum is now visible, but it's not peaking too high. So next, maximum height. Let's drag this right the way out. As you can see, the further I drag maximum height, the bigger my audio spectrum gets. Look at that. It's looking really nice, isn't it? And then we'll rewind to the start. Again, the CPU is going to need to keep up. So a bit of stuttering as it gets used to hey, it. This is Mike for Licked. And in this, this video, a bit of pitch shifting too in there. Very nice. <laughs> but once Adobe After Effects has had the chance to do all that processing, now we can watch it. Hey, this is Mike for Licked, and in this video, I'll show There's a wonderful audio spectrum, and maybe I don't want this in the center and blotting out my face. You can just simply go to the audio spectrum layer, make sure it's highlighted, and then grab this audio spectrum and just move it around anywhere you like on your After Effects composition. So maybe I'll move it down like that so it's at the bottom. Again, rewind, generate, and you'll see. Hey, this is Mike. This is Mike for Licked, and in this video... <laughs> and play that again without the strange, scary pitch shifting. Hey, this is Mike for Licked, and in this video... And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And that is how you generate an audio spectrum inside Adobe After Effects. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. If you'd like to license the track I used in this video or grab other commercial music, head over to Licked.